Hey guys, and welcome to our review for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, directed by Bob Persichetti, Peter Ramsey, and Rodney Rothman. Mm. Also starring Shamik Moore, Jake Johnson, Haley Steinfeld, Mahershala Ali, Brian Tyree Henry, Nick Cage, among others, Lee Schreiber. Chris Pine. My name is Scott Ellis, I'm mm. joined here by Tim McGavick. Spider-Man. A.K.A. Spider-Beer, I'm going to say. Spider-Craft Beer, is that your sure, Spider-Man yeah. name? Also joining us, Phil, <laughs> Phil Clark, Spooderman, Spider Ginge, uh, and Tyler Sutalski. Spider Jew. <laughs> that right there. And Adam Franey. I'm just happy that mm-hmm. we're all here, man. Spider yeah. Dust. Spider Dust. <laughs> Spider Dust. Spider Five Hour Energy. <laughs> Tim, can you give us a little synopsis of Spider Man Into the Spider Verse for the viewers? Uh, yeah. So, from the studio that brought you the Emoji Movie, Spider Man. Into the Spider Verse, the story about the Kingpin, hmm. who attempts to create a passage between dimensions. In doing so, various versions of Spider Man are pulled into the New York City of Miles Morales, a young teen who too has recently been bitten by a spider. Mm. Radioactive spider. Radioactive. Not a regular spider. Not a regular, Not a regular one. one. He would just die. Uh, Ty, let's start with you. Mm. What do you think of Spider Man Into the Spider Verse? I've got my notes here. Uh, Do you actually have notes, guys? Okay. No. Nope. It's a blank screen. screen. I'm screen. mostly mocking the way you hold your phone. Screen is black. Um, I, was like, I just took a tray of brownies out of the oven. Oven uh, What did I think phone. of Spider Verse? Yeah. Did uh, you see it? I did see it. By the way, I'm I'm Prove back. It. I'm. <laughs> Welcome. We should acknowledge that. You're I'm always back. here, man. I never left. You're always with us. This is the other dimension. <laughs> no, here. The cool time. That we Dolphin like. tie. Dolphin tie. Spider tie, dolphin tie. Spider dolphin. Um, Gross. I liked it. I thought it was really cool to kind of see all the, because uh, like, like, you know, it's, they take all these spider comics that are from, that are actually out there, different universes, and they actually use them in one film, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, I think it's the first time Marvel's ever done something like this, where they bring like various sort of universes together. Superheroes together. Very comic booky. Yeah. Very comic, very comic booky. I gotta so say, firstly, horrible. Firstly, I gotta say I love that effect. That like it, it was like the visual, the visual like that where it looked like you're, like everything was two D, but like it was not kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Like it was mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. very very well done. Um, I thought it was gonna be annoying after a while, but I you almost like it, it works perfectly. Did you watch it in three D or two D? Two D. Did you see it in three D? No. Oh, okay. Did anyone see you guys it watch 3D? it in three D? Did not. It's on IMAX. Three D, just IMAX. Just IMAX. Oh, wow. Interesting. 3D. I was uh, ah. forewarned that the three D was very, like nauseating. I can of, see that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the like effects, the like comic. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Lots of stuff. I thought it was. I very, like the effect in two D. I like the. I did like the effect. Uh, I thought a lot of the casting was perfect. Um, Jake Johnson's hilarious as Peter B. Parker. Peter B. Parker, not, as opposed to Spider A. Parker. Um, I thought Please stop tapping was... your phone. Sorry, yes. is that a thing? Yes. Oh, I, microphones was, right there. I didn't know I was doing it. We're recording right now. This know. is <laughs> what? Yeah. We post this yeah. every week. You don't know this? What? Yeah. That we're just looking at ourselves. Anyways. Um, Five people are going to hear that. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I thought it was, uh, yeah, I, I thought it was really good. Like the casting I thought was great. Nick Cage I loved. Oh, I thought his voice suited like Spider the Noir. Spider Noir. I thought that was amazing. The goat. Um, yeah, all of the all of the casting was great. Uh, the story was pretty good, easy to follow. wasn't like too much mayhem. Timelines were good. Timelines were yeah. good. Got a little yeah. confusing, but oh. uh, I was gonna say you you were you were okay. Timelines were good. Dimensions not. Dimensions were not so good. Right. Mm. A lot of jumping. A lot, a lot of, of ooh. I'm sure it helped every time they re-explained who the person was for you, though. Oh yeah, it was great actually. When they kept going back to start, that was fantastic. I was like, oh, thank God. You're who they did it for. Yeah. Um, overall, you liked it. Though. Overall, I did. Uh, I did like it though. Enjoy. Nice. Uh, had a nice arc to it. Um, yeah, I, I I really liked it. Wow. Awesome. Tim, let's jump over to you. <laughs> oh. What? Uh, what do you think? Well, this is a studio that brought you such hits as the Transylvania movies. Mm. Of course. Emoji movie. Of course. <laughs> museum. Night of. Night at. Museum. Night movies. of the museum. Sony's. Sony's One and two. Sony's bad. So you're, you're, you're leading this to something. I am. Because they have shockingly made a fantastic movie. <laughs> <laughs> broke the trend. Uh, you we, son of a we bitch. We made combo breaker Full jokes. Game. Combo breaker. This is yeah. a combo breaker. Um, I loved this movie. 
Right? I knew Loved you would. It. I, I knew it. Um, I knew it. Yeah. I knew this was going to be like I a know movie so for well. you. Yeah. Clearly visuals are outstanding. Mm-hmm. I love the little like when someone's knocking mm-hmm. at a door, there's like knock, knock, knock popping up on the screen or yeah. like there's like the yellow thought bubbles or like the dab. It was like, damn. Just little things like that are fantastic. I love the little bits of comedy. There's some, like, little throwaway lines that are really, really funny. There's some, like, there's one, like, practical gag that I died at when um, Miles gets bitten by a spider. It's hilarious. Yeah. It's, like, a very, like, intense sequence. Right. You're, like, showing all his cells changing, and then just why cuts to him with, like, the spider on his hand. He's just, like... Classic. <laughs> Classic I fucking died. Um, I yeah. That. What I loved the most, I think, was the... Well, the score is great as well, score yeah. and soundtrack. Oh. But I think the story works so well because even though it has, like, five different Spider-Men, it's about Miles and, like, those characters are all there to serve his story, like, mm. his coming of Spider-Man because they've, spoilers, they've all, been, they've all been their versions of Spider-Man for at least a couple of years. Longer than him and he's only been He's been there two weeks for, like, two weeks. weeks. Not even, probably. If that. Um, so it's all about getting well, him ready to do it and see his progress and see mm-hmm. his arc. Um, very long arc too. He doesn't become Spider Man for like a very, very long time, mm-hmm. which is nice. They actually took some time with it. Mm-hmm. Get to know um, the character. And... Yeah, it's a fantastic movie. Man. Yeah, characters are just like fully realized. The yeah, is real. Is what oh man, saying. it was. And the nice thing was like even though like they were secondary characters, like all the other Spider yeah. people, they were I loved them all. Like you got to like you got their own kind of yeah. story. You knew what their motivations were to get back. Like it was cool. Yeah. They had their own. Spider Man Noir was great because he likes to just watch matches burn down. Yeah, oh, that was so, like, so something. funny. Fuck yeah! Just so much stuff in this movie with the Rubik's and, cube. Yeah, like that was yeah. so good. Just letting go. Yeah. Uh, all right, Phil. Let's just, jump over to you. What do you What do you think about the Spider Verse? I think you this. It? Yeah, I I agree with Tim. You well, dug hardly. it. You loved it then. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm probably gonna go out on a limb and say this is. The best Spider-Man movie. I've oh ever seen. shit! I'd probably say so. Too. Is it the best Spider-Man film, or is it the best film that embraces all of Spider-Man, if you will? I think both. I think it took it took on the like other Spider-Man so well. Like Peter B. Parker has that whole arc. I think Gwen Stacy bring her in the movie. Spider has a Gwanda. Gwanda. Gwanda had had like her own troubles as well. Like I think Tim, like Tim said. The supporting cast were there for miles, but they were also there and had their own issues mm-hmm. and brought that as well. Like, it just engaged me. I thought that they were so, like, like you guys were talking about the world and the visuals were so vibrant. I thought the characters were so vibrant, yeah. too. Like, they re- like everybody in the movie that was important just really popped off mm-hmm. the screen for me. And I was just engaged, and I loved it. Like, it was actually a thrill ride. Yes. I was enjoying yes. every second of it. Yes. Score, visuals, yeah. all of it. And then I was sitting there, and probably about 40 minutes, and I was like, might be the best Spider-Man movie I've ever seen. <laughs> that is the uh, sort of the tagline that has emerged from all the reviews. It's kind of being crowned best Spider-Man movie. I I would agree with that. One hundred percent. You too. Do you guys think you know the fact that it's animated is allowing them to explore all these different characters oh, yeah. in a very comic book way mm-hmm. that you yes. <laughs> can't do yeah. in a traditional you live, do this action, live action, action. It would be ridiculous. It would. It'd be so silly. It would be yeah. like fucking what's that? Uh, Mortal Engines. <laughs> yeah. Something just like I was thinking of Zack Snyder Sucker Punch or something. Yeah, yeah. it would be yeah. like some over the top, Love like that insane. Be, the comedy would have to be so different. It just felt so like <sighs> perfect for the style of this movie, like yeah. the comic book, but like realism, but like. But just the fact it's animated, yeah. you know, it kind of brings me back to like the classics animated like Spider-Man, like the like, '60s show. classics. '67 one. Yeah, not that, but uh, there was like a '90s one. <laughs> the '90s one is. Yeah. Oh, um, that's what I watched. Yeah. But it kind of brings me back to that, you know, mm-hmm. and, and b- being able to open up all these different interesting avenues of the universe that we all know. And it's like, you know, it's interesting that they're able to pack all these characters in, but it doesn't seem like bloated because, I don't know, just like the fact that they all fit the together. age group that are people that are watching this movie, like, we get it. Like, we've seen animated there's... movies. Like, we understand that there's different universes, like, and dimensions and, like, we're smart enough to put it together. It's not confusing. Yeah. Right? Just a heads up, my theater full of kids, literally filled. With there children. was literally a baby in my theater. Yeah, like not like an infant, like literally a baby. Yeah. crying. There's one the kid theater. that asked if it's over yet, like three times. He's probably like five. I'm Idiot like, has Idiot. terrible taste. Yeah, yeah. this movie's great. Kids, you're seeing right a masterpiece. Just, one joke that really got me was um, at the very beginning, 
when he's walking down the street. Yeah, he's like doing that. He's like, I was like, oh, I they're you, going there. And then it's yeah. like, you're going there. I bet there. you forgot about this. It was like, oh, and I did this thing. It was like, oh, oh we I tried. Did. <laughs> we did forget <laughs> about that. Okay. Adam, let's jump over to you. What do you think about Spider Man into the Spider Verse? Spider Man. Mm-hmm. That, that's Spider Man into the Spider Verse. That's Spider-Man. exactly what we're talking about. Spider Man. Yes. And woman. Spider Man. Spider Man. I liked it a lot. But it was very, very good. Not saying love. Glowing saying praise. I, I borderline yeah. loved it. Yeah. yeah. Borderline. It was very good. You didn't say. I didn't have borderline. It's. <laughs> It's uh you, you don't like though, Spider Man is what you're I, saying. I don't like Spider Man, the character, and I hate this movie. Spider Man three is your favorite movie? Spider Man three is my favorite though. That's the weird that's that was, my I exception to, to the this, rule. Right? Yeah. Toby killed it. Um they they almost died, Toby McGuire, I believe. Yes. Who was telling me? Was that you? Who was telling me that? Maybe me. Oh, yeah, he was busy or something. Lord and Miller. You? They like, tried to get him. Toby McGuire. Yeah. 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 Um, For Peter B. Parker, I wanna say. Yeah, yes. the old like hobo Peter Or not the Miles Morales like like Peter Parker, like the classic Peter Parker, like best. Yeah, no, the, like that the, one, the blonde Peter Parker, the gross one. Uh, yeah, the, the burger. One. That makes more sense one. for Toby. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, but your thoughts? I thought, yeah, it, just, it was like, it was like the pinnacle of every Spider-Man comic book. Like this was the perfect uh, way to deliver a comic book movie or. You know, like every Spider-Man comic book put into one movie, and I feel like animation just completely freed them to go it ape shit. Them to... <laughs> and I hope that more studios, well, I guess Disney, do <clears throat> like animated superhero movies. I'd love to see just like separate from the live action canon. Like, give me an Iron Man animated, give me whatever animated. Well, funny you should say that. Well, a couple Deadpool. things. Um, that will be great. They've already announced a sequel to this film, mm-hmm. as well as a spinoff with. Uh, Spider Gwen oh, and Spider Woman and some other female Spider Man character. Um, so there's that. So there's a spinoff, and then the sequel to this. But I was reading an article um, the other day about this, and one of the the creators of Spider Gwen, or the creator of Spider Gwen, um, was talking to someone about this film, and they mentioned, well, wouldn't it be a great idea? If you know, Marvel was able to do that with, like, the Fantastic Four or, like, X-Men universe, right? If that ever comes back to them or whatever. Yes. Or I don't know if they have the rights for, like, animated versions of it. Anyways, mm. those that, that sort of series would be interesting. Yeah. Because when absolutely. I was a kid, I remember watching X-Men all the time. Oh, yeah. Of course. Like the animated X-Men. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That, that is seems so. perfect for, like, animated just like this. Like, all these failed properties, you know, mm-hmm. like, the Spider-Man didn't do so well. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 or whatever, you know. Yeah, that'd be an interesting avenue to explore. Just like you're saying, like other yeah. studios, I think should embrace the animated, you know, yeah, absolutely. Sphere, right? um, I thought, yeah, the visuals of like how it's literally like a moving comic book were perfect, mm-hmm. and it gave me that feeling of watching the '90s animated series yeah. or playing the games, but that you can't you can't get that feeling when you go back. Cause yeah, can it's how back. I feel like the '90s one probably looked. Yeah, but it doesn't because the '90s one looks really bad now. But you're like getting a new version yeah. of that, and it was just yeah. I know the comic book purists are like, you know, their minds are blown. I loved Kingpin, just like every oh. character. They're just embracing like the source material. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. Kingpin, I just how Kingpin. Leafy Shriver, was outrageously was huge. Yeah. yeah, I loved it. It was perfect. Like he oh, got his out, head like, was like in the his head was like, <laughs> head's like here. Yeah. I'm like what? So yeah, like, he's just like neck and shoulders. But that's, it's just can kill Kingpin. you with like a punch when he like he arrives at like the at the building where they they were they were working at. Like you see this vehicle pull up and like Miles is is saying like oh no no Kingpin's here right and like it goes back to him and he's like he's out of the car but he's like bigger than the car. Yeah. So like it was just like there's no way he fit into that. It's very. Uh, yeah, I, I thought very it was. Comic book. Yeah. Um, I did like how Kingpin had like an actual. I guess it's kind of a thing now. They're probably like. Okay, like the villainy's motivation. Like you want yeah. to be able to understand the, the villain, right? But I do think that it was good that there was that angle to yeah, it. That the reason why he's doing it. He wasn't just trying to destroy stuff. He wasn't just, doing doing it. It wasn't just like, I want to destroy the just world the with the fucking yeah. dimension. The Marvel it was like, bad guy. he wanted to get, you know, his family or whatever. So, mm-hmm. uh, interesting. The one yeah. scene but, that really stuck was like, because we're talking about how like we're, we liked how it was animated. Um, like when Miles is like just learning to use his uh, web shooters for the first time, he uh, like they're just leaving that building, and so like it's him like 
flying, holding the computer, like the, the computer tower. Like they're just like flying through. And so like that part was just really well animated. And mm -hmm. like, again, if they had done it live action, they wouldn't have been able to do that scene as yeah, well. It would look weird. It would, but it yeah. just looked, it looked so good to me. But the animation allows you to do that. But yeah. Overall, Adam, you... I, 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 it wasn't perfect. I don't like... Can you say what you didn't like about it? Um, or is it best kept or spoilers? Yeah, yeah, I can say. Um, I thought that sometimes it went a little too crazy. Like, I thought it was... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're embracing crazy. Okay. I know, but it was exhausting. This is a multi-dimensional animated film. You're aware of that, right? Yeah. Okay. It was just a little exhausting with, like, the boom-pow color explosion. Like, we're zipping around, like, non-stop chaotic pace. There's more of a technical side you had a problem with. Yeah, it wasn't anything... It gave you too much color, not enough for anything else. It was just all... Yeah, it was, it was, I don't know how else to describe See, it. I'm the exact opposite. I thought the colors were fantastic in this film. Oh, I know you did. Yeah. Uh, it was oh, a little, tiny little, stimulation. I so. do. Yeah, Constant. exactly. Um, like if... Like Puppy. Yeah. He's, he's like Spider-Noir. Yeah, you know, that's you. <laughs> he just needs something to it's feel. Purple. A little bit of pain yeah, so, he, right. so he knows that he can still feel. Nope. Uh, what... I don't know how you guys felt about it, but Peter Porker did not work. Oh, <laughs> no. You loved it. I was with. I it. knew you guys. I was with it. I was fine with it. it. I was into yeah. it. You know. When he when he gave just pulls out the hammer. Every just... it's all fit in your pocket. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't like it. Every moment by him, I hated. So that kind of was like a he was later. Who was it? He, uh, he was a spider that was bit by a radioactive pig. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. That's what. Yeah. yeah. You watched the movie. Right? I did not catch that. Yeah. <laughs> it was then. He wasn't a pig that was bit by a radioactive. That is funny. <laughs> he was a spider. That's, that's he was hilarious. a spider and he was bit by a radioactive pig. pig. <laughs> yeah, I like that a lot. Um, yeah, that's really yeah. It's just nitpicks. Like, I did. <laughs> Just nitpicks. Peter I, Porker. I, mean, I loved it. AKA Spider, oh, Spider Pig. Spider, Spider Ham. Ham. Spider Ham. Spider Ham. Sorry. Penny yeah. Porker, yeah. wasn't he? Penny Parker um, yeah. is the like anime. Japanese anime. Yeah. One. I liked her. I, I liked her. That style. was probably the weakest one in my opinion. Again, my opinion. Like character wise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Weakest I character. I didn't love her. I didn't like her until towards the end. Yeah. And then I like. Then it was like a. Like it was like oh fuck. Like, mm -hmm. Towards the end of the film. I right? thought it was like. She came on a lot stronger at the very end of the movie. Yeah. Which kind of sucks, because then she's weak kind of throughout. I, I agree with you, but... Well, I'm going to jump in. Jump in. So oh, I've been talking, a, you know, in and out here, but I haven't really given my thoughts. Overall, I really like this film. Um, not love. I agree with a lot. Not love. Okay. Um, really like, though. So I, I think I'm more in line with Adam, because yeah. I, I it, so. agree with pretty much everything you guys have said. I mean, the comic book sort of uh, visuals are great. Um, I thought the voice cast was, like, spot on. Yeah. Um, I mean, you get Mahershala Ali as his uncle. Fantastic. And Brian Henry, Heather, uh, Henry sorry, as, as his, his father. Dad. Fantastic. I mean, great casting. Two for two there. Um, and, yeah, just Haley Steinfeld, Jake Johnson is perfect. Oh, Jake um, Johnson was perfect. Also, even the, like, um, perfect Spider-Man is, like, Chris Pine yeah. as well. That's pretty yeah. perfect. Perfect. <laughs> um, just perfect casting. And literally. Shereek Moore, I thought, was, I thought Miles Morales was great. I thought mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. his character, everything about his story. I don't know, I just really appreciate that they're actually, they actually committed to Miles Morales finally. Yeah. yeah. Like, people were pushing for that for so long. I was explaining this. They to finally did it. People. Like, and people are loving it. Like, surprise. Yeah. Shocker. Yeah, like, wow. Give the, the fuck, people what God. they want. Um, it's, like it's a good character, almost. Weird. Yeah, and I, I like all the weird. character designs and everything, like just just visually, like what we got to see. Um, interesting take on Doctor Octopus as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, gender bent Doc Ock. Yeah, interesting. Like it. Um, great okay. worked for me. Um, I don't know if Green Goblin worked for me. Yeah, because he, he looks turned into jarring. a monster. Jarring. He looks kind of like he does in Spider-Man Ultimate, the series. He's like yeah. a very big hulking. Monster as opposed like to kind of like, like the like it kind of like he hulks out yeah, or something yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. instead yeah. of just being like yeah. some guy instead of just like changing into like a goblin looking yeah. person he like literally, literally hulks out yeah. right. and like grows wings and shit. I think I liked it because it was like his universe is it's like different, different than it's, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. alternate Parker, right which is like, like same his with dad Doc is, his, and yeah his dad works for the PDNY not yeah. the NYPD yeah right. which like it's like that little like I was like okay I, I like it because it kind of it was like it was this it was similar but different in a lot of ways. Um, the one thing I wasn't a huge fan of though was like 
this more so the action action I just wasn't like thrilled by it I was just gonna say that I thought the movie was really funny but like the action wasn't it was fine I don't know you're obviously just there it was just there like there wasn't anything bad about it it was never like oh like it just wasn't like like, cool fights yeah like choreography I find that like when when I watch an animated film I'm less intrigued by the action just because I know it's not like it must be hard to like there's no it's hard to have weight behind it there's no stake yeah there's no stakes yeah like there are stakes in the movie but yeah but like it's I found myself like I don't feel the craving it is hard like it is hard because it's hard to get that sort of visceral feeling in an animated film like it's hard to get like a weight behind a punch. Yeah. Whereas like in like some certain action movies, like I don't know, like the raid or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like when guys are getting hit, like you feel it. Like, yeah. John Wick Chapter Two. Even like Atomic Blonde, yeah. something like that. Shoot right? that guy yeah. in action. Movie. Cool. Great movie. Very best of last year. Some would, say. Some, um, would say that. some would say that. They would be wrong. One. Would they say. would. Yeah, I find it's just it, that's one detriment to the animated sort of realm is just getting that hard hitting like action sequences. It's tough for like a superhero movie. You kind of, you kind of want that. Um, yeah. But besides that, I really, Shit. I really enjoyed this. There was a lot of great gags, like you guys said. Um, like the Rubik's cube. I like the classic <laughs> riff on how he was trying to shoot his web, what? and he like went to the top of the building. Yeah. Looked at it. He was like about to do it. He's like, nope, going to the next building, the shorter one. <laughs> yeah. 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 Up, psyching himself up, psyching himself, and then it just cuts to him walking down the stairs. I, I like that. I like that it sort of played on what we, you know, expected on our expectations and sort of subverted that a little bit with doing a little different take on it. Yeah. You know, um, which I appreciate. But yeah. Overall, overall, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I had a good time. I had a good time. Um, let's give our ratings. So we can get into some spoiler talk. Oh. Um, I'm gonna start. This is a light four. Oh, ten. It's a five. Oh, oh shit! Shit! Loved Tim it. loved it. Are you in another dimension right now? Yeah. Phil, I mean, that's heavy four for me. Yeah. Heavy, heavy four. Heavy Woo. four. Ty, don't you do it? Oh, oh shit! Colors. Colors. That's what did it. Colors. High Colors. Paste. Easy Whoa. timelines. Colors. Five easy timelines. I'm going Adam? four solid four reels four. out of five. Mm. Four of them, bingo bango, bongo, bang bango. Yeah. Well, <laughs> spoiler warning: if you haven't seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, so we're going to well, be discussing some spoilers and Chemistry, after credit stuff and all that jazz. <laughs> um, so, fair warning: you've been warned. So, so with that being said, we got to get some banners. Spider-Man or dies. Um, thought it was amazing. The Spider-Man Bold in choice. Miles Morales' dimension. Absolutely yeah. loved it. When Kingpin power crushed him, him, I was like, fuck yeah. I was like, did he just like power crush the ground and then he like fell through the ground to a certain death? No, he power crushed... His heart? Like Spider-Man's <laughs> massive <laughs> cage. His his cage. Yeah. Honestly, like when you think back on it. that and he's like, they're not coming back. Like, yeah. It doesn't matter what you do, they're not coming back. And then like, to find out his motivations is to bring his family back, and Spider Man knows that, and yeah. he's like, "They're not coming back, no matter what you do." Yeah. I can see like why he kills him, like knowing the Kingpin character. Yeah. I was like, "That's like going back." It's like, "Holy fuck!" That's, that's something like, he would do. That's brutal. Yeah. The best part of that is that that Peter Parker is dead. Yeah. Yeah. Like Peter B. Parker comes into the dimension, but it's not like some cheap, like, oh, "Okay, he's dead." No, that guy's dead. That guy's yeah. dead. The Kingpin literally yeah. murdered him. Yeah. 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 Like, I love the balls to do that, especially in an animated, like... Kids a, movie that's a PG? fucking animated yeah, like, kids movie. I had, like, the most balls... the only person to die. I'm super... Oh. Of any superhero movie. And, yeah, people were dying. Like, I was like, this is darker we than... Got, we got Aaron action. Davis as well, a.k.a. Prowler, who kind of plays the Uncle Ben, if you will, to Miles' character. Yeah. yeah. You Love know, it. he had to have his moment, you know, his loss. And uh, I thought that was a great... Great moment there as well. Yeah, yeah saying, Oh my god, we can, can shoot some. Just, just savage. I also just really like that sequence when Miles went to his uncle's place. You know, he was like, you know, feeling uh, down in the dumps. Uh, what's the word? Uh, whatever. Um, Existential funk. He, he was feeling. Uh, I just had it there again. Anyways. Tip of your tongue. Uh, anyways, and his uncle, he thought. You know, his uncle was going to be there, but it was Prowler, and there was that great sequence there. Yeah, the apartment that was very good. You know, cat and mouse game. Yeah. When he like, and then the reveal. Pokes his head behind the the TV. It was like, <gasps> it was like, like, what the fuck? 
I mean, I, like, I kind of thought right before, like when you when you kind of he hears something, I'm like, oh fuck, his uncle's prowler. Yeah. yeah. And like I didn't know it before then. I'm like, oh fuck, and then he actually showed up. I'm oh, like, you didn't know that? That's I didn't know his character. No, no, I didn't. Yeah, I, no I was reminded in that scene, but I did know like beforehand. Yeah, I knew he's Prowler, but I didn't connect to the guy with the purple gloves and stuff was Prowler. Was Prowler, yeah. Right. Right. yeah I, like, I didn't, I was, I didn't I, get I was that. Like, I don't know who the villain is. And then you mentioned right. Prowler, I'm like, fuck, it's his uncle. Well, I saw him get on the bike, and I was like, is this, like, um, for a second I thought it might have been Bullseye or something like that, like, because I know Bullseye was often, like, riding a motorcycle. And so I was like, yeah, but this is, like, way over the top yeah. for a Bullseye. <laughs> yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. But, but yeah, I, I just like that, that whole sequence. Very good. And uh, yeah. the uncle. And I was unfamiliar with Miles Morales' powers. I thought they were refreshingly different. Like the Venom yeah. strikes and the invisibility. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought that was fun and like different, you know? I thought he was literally just the exact same as Spider Man. I had no idea. They had these different powers. I didn't yeah. know either that like invisibility. I knew about invisibility, I didn't know the yeah. electric thing was cool. You know? Very cool. Yeah. Very nice. What do you guys think of the possibility of Donald Glover reappearing in the MCU as the prowler? I don't know if you know about this. Because he's, yeah, he's in Homecoming. Yeah, he's interesting. Homecoming. I didn't, is that a does rumor? He, does or he is... play Aaron Davis? He does. Yeah. 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 And he mentions yeah. that he has a nephew in the neighborhood. Yeah. He wants to keep safe. A nephew oh. lives around here, man. That was pretty good. That's actually. very interesting. That's pretty good. Is, that, is that like in talks or is that just rumor? I, I'm i just saying like, oh, you're he just played this. Uncle okay. Aaron in the movie. Yeah. So do we think he could be Prowler. far from home? He could. Prowler incoming? That'd be cool. Which leads maybe a Miles Morales... Sweet. I don't know if they would. Do you think they would actually uh-huh. want to pursue that with this animated one? Like, it's all Sony funny, would probably right? be against it. I don't know. Like, that's what I mean. This movie's doing so well critically. Would that make them want to bring in the Prowler to live action? I don't know. Or would it make them want to like? But does that confuse it? Like, because the yeah. Miles Morales, is, if you have that. Right? Well, I don't know if Can this you movie is the movie right part. Is anyone seeing this movie? Because I will say my theater was empty. My theater was packed. Packed. Mine was packed. Sold out. Yeah. So well, like, I saw the like half or so. quite busy, oh, but preview. it was Saturday like mid afternoon, so it was like I saw Saturday, a lot of kids, like I said. Seven. I also saw no, I saw Friday and missed it. I saw Friday mid afternoon. I know it's tracking for thirty five million. It's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. I don't know for animated. Animated, that's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Probably cool. be number one in the box office with that for sure. Okay. Okay. Okay, I like that. It's also going to win the best animated feature this year. Oh, oh and better. First Incredible comic too? book movie to win it's the best be two. animated. Oh. That's my guess. Mm, I thought this I was better. Two animated Incredible superhero Steve. films yeah, going head to head. Uh, well, is there anything else you guys want to mention specifically spoiler wise? Mm. It's not really spoilery. I just like how they played on the like, I guess classic Super or Spider Man, like origin story, and like tweaked it and changed it and like made it about Miles Morales and not so much like him gaining his powers but him gaining like the confidence and yeah. like ownership of his powers which was like really cool to see because like mm. a lot of superhero movies focus on like the powers and like yeah. how they're used but this was more about like him choosing that life and how like his personal life like blended in with Spider-Man mm. do you know what I, I mean like and I, I really yeah. like because when he has that moment with his dad through the door and he like so he, he's tied to the chair and he can't talk Amazing. and his dad's like talking to him and having this emotional like I love you like you know I just I, I just don't want to lose you like you're my son I see that sparking and then it's got that double entendre like I see that spark in you I just I want you to make the right choices and then like Sparks that's up. when he gets to like he gets to actually use his powers and like break out of that and like be invisible from his roommate and then put on the Spider-Man suit and Aunt May's the, Aunt May was unbelievable in this. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know who voiced her but that was she was one of the best parts of the film. She bashed she a man's head in with a baseball bat. Yeah, <laughs> she she was trying to kick them out of her house because her like stop wrecked. destroying the furniture. Yeah, like, go out, take it outside. Can you guys take this outside? Like a barkeep. Guys, uh, not again. No, I just I love that like Miles Morales took ownership of that and was like, this is what I choose to do, and then became Spider Man, yeah. as opposed to like he was Spider Man and kind of like because Peter Parker's like, well, you're kind of stuck with it now, kid. Like, yeah, what are you gonna do? Like. Lily, oh, well. Tomlin. Lily Tomlin. Lily, Lily Tomlin. Tomlin. She was yeah. great. Mm. So I, I, I really like that aspect of it. Yeah. Because when you make it about like characters and not like their abilities, it, it makes it so way more yeah. kind of relatable and way more like impactful when things happen. Definitely. That was for me. That's why I, I loved it. That's why it's a heavy four for me. Mm. Mm. I got to mention the post credit scene is hilarious. Oh my yeah. god. 
I didn't so see them. Good. You didn't see oh. it? I did not see them. Well, the first okay. one was kind of a tribute to Stan Lee, I guess, which we do get oh. to see Stan oh. Lee. Stan the man. Yes. And the, well. and, and the end of the movie when they had his, yeah, like the end, his yeah. glasses. Oh. Okay, so talk to me. So post credits is you find out that, do you know who Spider-Man 2099 is? He's like this. I know of him, but I can't play. So him. he shows up at the end. Okay. With this time machine that's attached to his wrist. And he's like. They're like, so which, or Dimension Hopper. And they're like, so where, so where are you going to go first? He's like, Earth 67. And it cuts to like the 1967 cartoon. And there's that famous scene where like Spider-Man meets a different Spider-Man. <laughs> and they're, they're pointing at each other. And they're like, yeah. pointing at each other. Yeah. <laughs> it's that for like two minutes. It's hilarious. Awesome. Okay. It's, it's so, so good. Rally, it's like, oh, that would be so perfect. It's so funny. You're pointing at me. No, you're pointing at me. <laughs> Stop it's pointing like, at me. Literally that. Yeah. Now, really? Spider-Man oh. 2099 is voiced by Oscar Isaac as well. Yes, oh. I saw that. What? Poe Demo. Sick. Crazy. Yeah. Very so. good. And the second credit scene? Does it? Well, that was one. it. It was just kind of like at the end of the movie that had the Stan Lee kind of tribute thing. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, Steve Ditko. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So that was, that was a nice thing to see, especially even just seeing Stan Lee pretty much playing the, like, uh, was he like a comic book shop owner? Shop, shop owner? Shop owner? Yeah. Costume yeah. generic? Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah costume fans. shop. Yeah. <laughs> Just kind of seeing, seeing him, like, it was, it was weird, even though it was animated, like, seeing him and, his, like, hearing his voice and stuff after he had passed mm-hmm. was kind of... My, uh, my, my audience was, like, gasping. Like, <gasps> well, you knew, yeah, you my, knew it was going to come my up My audience was, too. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was really, it was really cool to see that. Cool. And then he was animated really well too. I thought. Oh yeah, it was like perfect. You know what I mean? like, yeah, it was like, a good oh, likeness. Yeah, it also reminded me of Gary's really game a little bit. Like Jerry's game. Jerry's game. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Gary's <laughs> game. Like he like classic Pixar short. Yeah. <laughs> You're not talking about Gerald's game, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> very different. Very different. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Not the same. Um, all right. Well, I There's think virtually I think no do chess it. in that movie. For our review of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Tim, where can people find you? Uh people can find us on. Facebook? Twitter nope, at Up Real Late. What else do I say? It's throwing me off. That's Facebook, all I say. Instagram. No, he doesn't. No, Instagram. that's me. Shit. You can follow me personally on Letterboxd at Up Real Tim and on Instagram at The Crap Pundit. <laughs> mm. You can nope. follow me on Letterboxd at Wicked Swami. Wicked Swami. Wicked Swami. Wicked Swami. No spaces, no underscores, none of that. Just nonsense. Just some Wicked Swami. Dropping straight Tyler, so you can find us on Facebook and on Instagram at Up Real Late Podcast. You can also find me on Letterbox at Up Real Tie. You're on Letterbox? Maybe. I might be. I know you're on Letterbox. I might be. That's so crazy. You never upload. You can find me on Twitter at Franny25 and Instagram and Letterbox at Up Real Adam. You can find myself, Scott, on Letterbox at Up Real Scott. And yeah, guys, if you enjoy this video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section if you want to join our discussion. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, keep it real.